Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is uh, Tanay Sai. I work with uh, Acquia out of uh, India as a technical as a technical services manager, and uh, this is my first presentation ever to a large audience like this. So, pardon me. <laughs> I, I did a, a small one at a local camp, but uh, not to, so I'm a bit nervous, and uh, so is my colleague. So if we fumble somewhere, uh, please pardon that. And uh, I, if you had uh, taken any Acquia certification, probably you might have stumbled upon my website, uh, which has a bunch of certification guides, and uh, or if you had uh, recently tried out uh, uh, d8cards.com, which is a Drupal uh, activity-based uh, DA tutorial. You might have stumbled upon my site as well. So, uh, and yeah, uh, and this is my colleague, JK. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Jay Krishnan Jaypal, uh, working in uh, Acquia for, as a technical architect. And uh, uh, here we go. So we work out of here, uh, south of India. Both of uh, I and JK uh, work remotely, although we have an office in uh, Delhi, which is in the north of India. We keep shuttling to from the south to the north almost every other week. And uh, before we dive in, like, uh, is there anyone who uh, has already developed with solar? And if to what extent ha uh, have you used a, so have you used solar, anyone, so far? Awesome, that is great. Uh, and uh, to set the expectations, like we don't, we intend to uh, do everything that we can do out of the box without writing any code in this session. In this session, we'll be building a small website. <coughs> I'll be showing wireframes of what we'll be building before we dive in. And we won't be any writing any code at all in this session. And the modules and software that we use are Drupal 8, obviously, and uh, the modules are Search API, which is a uh, search framework available for Drupal. It's a contrib module. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, many of you are already familiar with that. And uh, Search API Solar, which allows, uh, this module allows uh, Search API to use Apache Solar as the search backend. And uh, we'll also be using Facets module, which allows you to uh, build uh, these filters uh, as blocks that you can use to dr drill down into the search results. And uh, one thing that we, we won't be using this, it, you might not see this in action today, but when you are setting up your uh, uh, Search API Solar module, you might be required to uh, add this library to your uh, Drupal build, which is Solarium. Uh, this is what, these are the things we will be using on our, uh, set, on our demonstration today. And I won't go deep into what is solar. I believe like most of you, as you mentioned, um, that you have already worked with solar, are familiar with it. And uh, it's an open source uh, search platform built on Java uh, called Lucene. And who uses solar? Uh, as you can see, uh, this is a, a screenshot from uh, uh, Apache.org website. Uh, big uh, names like Netflix, Disney, and all using uh, solar in their uh, on their search on their website. And so, firstly, if you if we talk about uh, why we need solar in the first place, um, it essentially boils down to the search uh, in uh, Drupal core being very slow and also uh, not being scalable and. Uh, some features that you would find in most searches like stemming. We'll talk about what is stemming as well. Uh, uh, stemming and uh, highlighting spell check are not uh, out of the box or tricky to accomplish when uh, with, uh, the, uh, with the core search. And uh, also when you search for phrases, the uh, search core, uh, the, co the search that is available in core doesn't really work great, uh, unlike it works with uh, words. So these are the few uh, reasons many uh, customers and many projects go for solar uh, instead of uh, uh, core search. So essentially, you can summarize this as a solar to be giving you fast access to 
big data on a budget. So it doesn't really cost much, and you should be able to spin up a typical solar instance for as less than as less as uh, less than ten dollars a month. And uh, yeah, when we speak of hosting solar, like uh, apart from the web server that you have your uh, Drupal instance on, you would also need to have a solar instance. It could be on the same machine that has your web server, or it could be on a different machine. Although uh, most of the times you would opt for a different machine. And some of the options you could consider uh, Acquia Search. So if you are building with Acquia Cloud, Acquia Search comes bundled with uh, Acquia Cloud. And it's very easy to integrate. Like you would not even need to do any configuration. Like just enabling the Acquia Connector module lets you connect directly into the Acquia Search instance. And one more option we are trying out recently is hostedapachesolar.com. Uh, this was nice as well. It is actually built and maintained by one of our colleagues, uh, Jeff Gerling, whom you would probably know. And uh, we stumbled upon this one uh, yesterday at the booth. So measuredsearch.com, they provide similar uh, hosted solar solution. And if you, uh, you could also choose to build, uh, set up an instance from scratch yourself and uh, on AWS or similar. And uh, there are fairly, very uh, not too complex, and uh, uh, solar is very uh, well documented. And there are multiple block pieces about setting up solar on any uh, Linux instance. And to add to some context, like I mean, any of you who had worked with D7 on solar would probably already know that uh, we used to have two popular choices to implement solar on D7. There used to be this search API module, and there also used to be this Apache Solar module. And both of them were good in their own ways, but now with D8, uh, so these two modules have combined their forces, and we have uh, one larger uh, search API module, which is uh, uh, amazing. Uh, I'll take all the questions at the end, if you have any. So uh, save your questions for the end. and. Uh, we try to close this at least uh, 20 minutes before the hour, so we have some time for questions if you have. And uh, I'm not going through the process of, uh, uh, so we'll be building two views essentially, uh, showcasing various things that you could do with uh, uh, solar. I'll be doing the first part while uh, my colleague JK will be doing the second part. Uh, in the interest of time, the first part, which is very basic, we're not uh, uh, building it uh, live here. Instead, we have recorded some videos last night, which I'll be walking you through. And the second part, we intend to uh, do it on uh, on a live website. And uh, although we have uh, a video as well, uh, and all the site building that we do, I'll be sharing the link that has uh, these videos at the end of my session. Thank you. So when you, uh, uh, as I said, I'm not going through the installation of Search API module. It's fairly uh, very similar to how you would install any other module. And once you uh, install Search API, uh, this is essentially the configuration page that you would see. You, you, it won't have anything uh, but just two links to add a server and add index. So server is essentially the uh, hosted solar solution or the one that you set up earlier, the solar instance that you have set up. We will need to tell uh, Search API about uh, where that server is located and how to connect to it. That is what we would do when we add a server. And anyone not familiar with the term index so far? Uh, like, I mean, I, I would take that as a no. Uh, essentially, index is a cataloged uh, uh, 
way of uh, having all the content uh, index is uh, the our search backend's uh, uh, catalog of content so it would not uh, it would be easier for the server to uh, pick up uh, to retrieve results whenever we do any search query and we'll see we'll also see in the session how we add an index and how we add a server and what we'll be building will look something like this we'll be building a simple site search so we'll be replacing the search uh, in core uh, we have a simple site i'll show you the content types we have got and what we would be building is a very simple search which has a search box as you can see on the left and a search button and uh, it it is expected to show the search results matching those keywords uh, in a very simple format like you would see on any search result with the title and a snippet of text and so uh, we have this site which uh, has some article an article content type which is uh, just a title and some uh, content and um, some tags around it and we also have a phone content type which allows us to store the phone title like say iPhone 6s plus and also the various parameters and, and the configuration details of it. So we have a field for each of them like operating system, camera resolution and built-in storage options available and such. And uh, what we intend to build, so we have a content which has uh, uh, many of these phones and what we intend to build is, uh, uh, this is the second part where we build something like this. Uh, just like you would see on Amazon or any uh, website when you are searching for a phone where you see the search results and uh, and a bunch of facets. So this is what we uh, call facet when uh, the, the filters on the left that you see, which would allow you to drill down into the results to narrow down your selection um, to match the parameters that you specify on these filters. So that is what we would try to build uh, in this session. So first, a very simple site search, which has a... Uh, search box and uh, shows the results matching um, the keywords on the right and the second will be a small tool that will help help you find uh, the phone that suits your needs and uh, yep when speaking of facets this, uh, I'm pretty sure you are most of you would have stumbled upon something like this this is a screenshot from Amazon India where uh, we have a bunch of facets that would allow me to drill down the phones by rating and price discount we love discounts in india <laughs> so uh, as i said adding the server i won't be doing it right now uh, although i'll be walking you through the screenshots it's fairly simple like once you have procured a uh, hosted solar solution be it from aqua cloud or aqua search or one of the other options which I mentioned. This one is from hostedapachisolar.com. And once you procure any hosted uh, solar instance or when you set up one yourself, uh, you would be getting these details, the host, the port, the, pa the path, and the name of the search core, which is what you would be required uh, to key in when you say uh, add server on your search API configuration. So the page looks like this. You would give a name and uh, the back end would be solar and you could leave the solar connector to standard and the details which I showed on the earlier screenshot which you got from the uh, your solar vendor you would key them in here and you can leave the rest of the configuration to the default values which work fine out of the box and at the end you would have an option like this which you could uh, enable if you are if you intend to use the same uh, uh, solar uh, server for multiple websites on your multi-site setup but you could uh, leave it unchecked if you are just using it for a single simple website as I said now I'll walk you through that video which we have which shows uh, building the index and then uh, we'll do uh, a simple uh, site building which shows building the view that is required for the site-wide search and then uh, my colleague JK will be walking you through building the more uh, more complex uh, uh, facets for the phone finder tool. I'll be starting with going to the search API configuration page. So here I have my server already added. 
you can ignore the second part where there is an index here. You should you would have just a server that you added in the exist in the earlier step. And I'll go with adding an index here. The index could have any uh, name, and since I'm going to uh, build one for uh, my site search and uh, uh, the phone finder tool, I will key in an appropriate name. And this bunch of options here allow you to define what content from your Drupal site is to be uh, indexed by this index. And it could be content here, which refers to nodes. And uh, you could also uh, index blocks. This is uh, especially useful when you are when all the data that you have on any specific page is not uh, belonging to just the fields that you have on that content type, but on some blocks as well, especially when you are using panels, panelizer, to have uh, or paragraphs to uh, refer to individual pieces of content on your landing pages. Although in, th in this demonstration, we'll be sticking to the simple uh, content uh, wherein, assuming, wherein we have all the actual fields that we're indexing attached to the content type itself. And uh, if you have some content on your terms, and if your terms have fields, etc., you could uh, select, uh, or if you want users, uh, user details to be indexed as well and available on search, you could use other options about uh, taxonomy, user, etc. And uh, since I selected content, uh, the next uh, uh, piece of configuration allows me to define what content types I, should, I would uh, want to be indexed. And as I said, in this uh, uh, site, I have an article content type, a phone content type, and a basic content type, which was available by default, although I would want just the article and phone content types to be indexed. And if it is a multilingual website, you could, uh, you could define like what languages of content is to be indexed again. And in, in our case, it's just one a single website that has only English content. I would leave the uh, configuration to its default value. Uh, this is a bit tricky here, like uh, especially when you are selecting the content types, uh, it would uh, initially, the first uh, radio button will be clicked and I was actually enabling two content types and I was trying to see my search results. I could not find them until I read the labels here because intuitively when, you, when I selected just two content types, what it was saying was all except those selected content types which was a default option that was selected. So uh, keep an eye on that when you... And I will attach this index to one of the servers uh, which I added in the earlier step. So in your case, probably if you're doing it for the first time, you would have just one server. And you'll have an option here that will allow you to uh, index immediately. So when you, ha when you create any node or when you update any node, uh, Drupal would need to send that updated details or new uh, content to your solar server. And uh, you could choose to have that happen immediately as you edit the index. Or you could, uh, if you leave this unchecked, Drupal will be sending that, uh, uh, that content to the solar server only on cron runs. And you can uh, select how many pieces of content or nodes should be sent in one bunch on each cron. If you have a small site uh, with not a lot of content that is very frequently updated, you can choose to uh, select. Uh, you can choose to index the content immediately. If you have larger website where uh, there is more frequent content editing, uh, it, it is uh, more recommended for performance reasons to have the content be indexed uh, in batches through cron. And now I would need to tell uh, my index uh, what fields it should index. And uh, so when you add a uh, index, this is what you would see. Uh, you can run the initial index. Since it has just probably 10, 10 nodes, it was very fast. So you'll be able to configure fields and processors here. We'll go through both of them. and. Uh, when I uh, when you add a field, you need to um, 
very specifically add each field that you would want to be part of your index and that would be every field that you intend to show on your view. Uh, like when we saw the phone finder view, we had a bunch of fields that were displayed in the view. And also every field that you intend to use as a filter in the facets. So I'm going to very quickly uh, see in this case I have my title field here and I have my body, body field here. I'll make sure I add both of them to my index. And the same with article as well. So uh, I have for have these two fields on both my content types, article and as well as body. And both of them actually use the same field. So I need to just add them once. And there are uh, the specific fields about uh, processor type and uh, brand and features which are available only on my uh, phone content type, uh, which I will make sure to add to my index as well. And uh, so these three fields over here, uh, the title and the title and the uh, body text here and the image over here and the price field. I'll, I'll be adding all of them one after another. Adding the brand field and the features field. the price field. And the image field. Okay, probably I, while uh, I was making this video, I was not sure which image field to add because there was one image field in uh, the article content type and uh, there were two image fields essentially with the same label and uh, but with different machine names. So again, one reason why we should be more careful when labeling the fields. So this list actually shows all the fields from all the content types, not really sorted per, each, per content type. And once I have all my fields, uh, and sorry about that watermark on that videos, by the way. So once you have all the fields added, uh, you would have options. Uh, you would need to define like what type of field it is to uh, Solar. And any uh, so when it comes to text, you would see two options. One is string and one is full text. So any field that you intend to be available uh, through textual search, you would need to mark it as full text. And any uh, shorter text fields that you intend to use in uh, the facets or any other type of filter, you would be marking them as a string. And the rest of uh, integer decimal are very similar to what you would have as a field type on your Drupal as well. So these are the field types that we are defining to Solar uh, Index about how uh, Solar should uh, pursue these uh, fields. And When I have multiple text fields, uh, full text fields, you will see an option, uh, a, co a configuration here called boost. So what this boost allows you to do is, if I search for a keyword, and if that keyword is available in the title of my content uh, on one node and in the body of my content in another node, I can uh, increase the boost value of the title field so that the search results would show that the result that has the keyword in the title field first and gives lesser uh, importance to the uh, another search result which has the same keyword in the body field. And as I said, uh, brand is a text field as well. Uh, text or uh, select list fields or even taxonomy term reference fields, as long as you are using them only in filters and not in, uh, uh, or as long as you, you, you're you using them in the filters, like you need to make sure that you mark them as uh, string fields and not uh, full text fields. I'm going to save my changes. So, so far we have built an uh, index and, uh, con and uh, marked the fields that we need to have on this index. And we are now navigating to this processors tab. 
which allows you to do some pre-processing uh, and post-processing on the search results and the way uh, they are indexed, the content is indexed. Um, you have a bunch of options here. I will not go in detail about all of them. So enabling content access, what it does is, if you have this checkbox enabled, uh, if someone did a search result, any, only if they had access to that particular node via Drupal permission system, that is when uh, Solar would, would return this as one of the search results. So, if, uh, for example, if you had a content uh, type which was restricted to a, a particular role, and if, and if that was available in the search result because Solar was indexing and the same content was viewable by the rest of everyone on the search results because uh, because Solar was indexing all the content and showing all the results to all uh, roles, that, that would be bad, right? So that is when you would enable this checkbox. And similarly, NT status would make sure only published content is shown on the search results. Highlight would uh, highlight this field in the, uh, in the search, the keyword in the search result. And uh, you can make it ignore case. Uh, so if I type for, if I search for Samsung with a capital S, and if my content had uh, Samsung with a small s, uh, I would still want uh, that content to be shown in the search results. So I will be uh, enabling this ignore case uh, flag here. And ignore characters, actually, this could be left unable. Uh, like if you would want to uh, ignore any special characters while indexing and when comparing with uh, the keyword, you could do that. And those special characters can be uh, configured at the bottom of this uh, page. And uh, yep, here you will be able to configure the special characters. And uh, we also chose to uh, ignore HTML markup. And you can configure what markup and what tags you would want to be indexed and not indexed. So here we go. We are almost done with uh, creating the index. and. Uh, And uh, yep. And the next item would be building this view, which uh, building this particular view, uh, as you see on the right. So trying to display the search results like this, and uh, also building the search box. We'll be using a, a exposed filter of a view to uh, build this. And let us see how we do it. I start by uh, going to the views page and clicking on add view, just like I would do with any other view, while building any other view. I'm going to give that my, a name which uh, defines it appropriately, which is site search, because I intend to use that view to display uh, search results when I perform a search on my uh, site search bar. And the main thing you need to uh, probably note here is uh, uh, when you build a normal view, you would be selecting content or comments or users or taxonomy terms, depending on what you are uh, building this view on. In this case, you would be selecting the index which you created in the earlier step. So the index that you created in the earlier step would be uh, available over here, and you will be uh, selecting that index. And I would want a page for it. So that is where my search results will be shown. So, And I'll give a title, which looks fine. And this would be the URL. And uh, as my wire as my wireframe shows, like uh, we, yeah, unformatted list. This is about how you would want the search uh, uh, results to be displayed, just like you would do with any other view. And. So there are a couple of, uh, uh, so search API solar module is evolving and there are a couple of bugs here and there. And I'm pretty sure when you try to do the same, you'll be stumbling into uh, similar bugs. So one of which is uh, the preview would not actually update. Uh, 
until we hit the save button on that view, which is not usually the expected case. Also, what we when we started making this uh, uh, recording and uh, our uh, our preparation, we used a uh, search API module which was a few uh, days old. Uh, we'll be also talking about what versions of modules works and what uh, and, and the issues with the module versions in the last at the end of our session. Uh, so if you see me hitting the view uh, save a view button again and again, uh, that is because it would not reflect the it would not. Uh, uh, it would not uh, uh, update the preview unless I do so. And I'm going to add some fields here. And one field I'm adding is the search except field, which comes from Solar. And I'll be doing something here which actually uh, i will trying to keep a track of time. I think uh, we are already uh, over it. So uh, I'm going to run through this uh, a bit fast, uh, but this is very similar to how you would add uh, fields to any uh, typical uh, any view, except that whenever you are searching for a view, you would uh, find uh, two options. One is the view, uh, the field name itself, and the field name with a bracket that says indexed field. So any uh, view, any field that is present in your in your uh, search index will be uh, available with that indexed field label and I'm going to add the body tag while my while my uh, title field was already there yep as I said, so this body refers to the uh, body field that is present in the database of your website, while this body field refers to the body field present in your search index. So what I did here was uh, sometimes the search uh, Sometimes the search except field doesn't really show up because uh, of a current issue that is open with search API module. So we are adding a fallback here where uh, we are saying we would want to show the body field directly if the search except field isn't turning up. And how we do that is, so we added this, uh, so we added this body field, although we, did, we uh, enabled the checkbox that say display this field. At the same time, uh, for the search except field, we excluded this body field from the display. On, and on the search except field, when uh, we give uh, uh, we give the replacement character as the fallback for a uh, no result value, it, it's something to do with views more than solar. Uh, if you want to keep this simple, you can just add the title field and the search except field, and that should pretty much work in 90% of the cases. So here is how my uh, uh, site search looks at this point of time. As you can see, uh, it's just showing all the results available. And uh, we haven't built the uh, filters yet, which uh, we'll be doing right away. So now we have built a view uh, that just shows all the search results, uh, all the results available. And now we would want to build that little uh, search box over here. And we'll be doing it through an exposed filter of the view. So I'm going to edit the view which I built in the earlier step. And I'm going to add a filter. And you'll find this new field which you would not uh, usually see, which is a full text search when you have your index added. And here I can configure, just like you would uh, see with any exposed filter, uh, you will enable this checkbox which makes this uh, filter available on the top of the view. And uh, 
this is very similar to how you would build a view with an exposed filter and the only thing you would probably need to take care of is uh, selecting the fields which are available in the index uh, in the index which are actually uh, full text fields and uh, i'm going to save that view and you should be able to see this uh, uh, see this filter on the top which would allow you to uh, search for any term and uh, the view will be filtered to show only the matching results and again this is not in the sidebar as i uh, did in uh, as we saw in the wireframe and the way that we move it to the sidebar is very similar to what you would do with any view which is uh, uh, you would expose the form by changing this parameter here to yes and that will now be available in your block layout and you can place that block anywhere and now once placed uh, this uh, search bar block will now be available in the i placed it in the sidebar first region so you have it here and this is how you could very easily uh, replace a uh, your site search uh, with a very simple view that you built which uses solar on the back end i'll pass on pass this on to jk uh, who will be uh, demoing on how we would build the facets for this phone finder over to you jk Now, as the time is very less, he is asking me to just show the videos and just pass it on. Okay, so uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, here is the wireframe which uh, we are planning to do. Uh, it's a phasered uh, uh, filter. is It's a search filter. The brand features and pr prices will be there. I uh, will try to implement this. So here I have a list of items which we need to do uh, to accomplish uh, the phasered part. Uh, first, we'll check the index. Uh, whether we have added all the fields required for showing in the search results page, uh, both uh, the search filter and also on the right side section where we have image, title and description part and also price. Uh, we'll do that and uh, we'll create a views then. Uh, so the, the views is nothing but the same uh, way which we have created now for the site search. Uh, it, but it will show only the type of uh, phones. And then we'll enable phase it module. Uh, then we'll create a brand phase it. So this is the plan now. Uh, the same way, like how you create the brand phase it, you will do the same way for uh, price exposed filter and also the features uh, phase it. And you just need to place the block on the left side section. Now we'll uh, check whether uh, we have uh, added all the uh, we have added all the fields on the index or not. Uh, before going into that, uh, I just want to uh, show you. Okay, it's not there. Uh, before uh, just uh, jumping on to that, uh, okay, let's play this. So we have now uh, the site search. I'm just uh, going to the fields. I'm say, making sure uh, that uh, we have uh, we need this brand and uh, features and price all the fields. I'm just checking whether it's there or not. So here the important point is that uh, the title and body uh, should be full text uh, whenever because uh, all the keywords uh, will be passed to that title and body and we can uh, retrieve that. And uh, all the other items like brand and uh, operating system and uh, price features, uh, other than a price it should be string, then only it will be appearing on the facet uh, filter, search filter. So we'll, we need to make sure of that. And uh, the price can be a decimal. and. Uh, we have added a content type uh, so that uh, the type will be, um, I mean, currently we, we have added all the content on the index. So there is a lot of chance it will retrieve both articles uh, or blogs which you have in the site. And uh, for now, for phone finder, I don't want to show all the articles or blogs. So we can add a content type as a filter uh, on the, in the index and then we can uh, use that. And same way with the uh, image, like uh, we are not going to index the complete image as a binary. It's a binary, so we'll use the media name, uh, which will be added in uh, image. So I'm just adding a, I'm just making sure the faces module is enabled. And we'll add a view. We'll name it as phone finder. And again, uh, we'll add the index properly. 
uh, we are not uh, seeing uh, both uh, Acquia Search Solar Index and the Phone find, uh, Finder Index, which was added earlier on the videos. Uh, I've just deleted that. This is the one which, uh, which is having uh, all the fields. So we'll name it as Phone Finder and we'll have the path Phone Finder. And I'm just uh, making use of the table format. So by default, only the body fit will be there. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll add all, all the other fields which is required. And uh, here I'm using this uh, image which is indexed. I use all the fields I'm just adding and uh, rearranging it so that it will be formatted properly. Uh, stop me anywhere if you find like I want to know more details on this place. Uh, how do you how you did that? If you if you have such things, uh, please stop me there. I will explain more or I will make it slow. So these are all just adding fields on the page. Uh, I'm just uh, removing the HTMLs which which I don't want. I'll go to the phone finder. So here we have the phone finder, um, the view which we have created. Okay, so uh, these are all the uh, phased source which will be added by default when you are adding any index on we are whenever you are creating any view uh, based on the index. So you have to so, uh, select the source where which you want to where you want to add the phasets. So I'm going to select uh, the phone finder and I'm going to add the phaset on, uh, in the phone finder page. So here we have a list of uh, options uh, which we can uh, keep it on the search filter. If you have seen the wireframe, if you remember the wireframe, the left hand side, uh, we have uh, checkboxes and we do have multiple options like that. Uh, it can be a drop down or it can be a date list and all the options are open. So for me, I need a list of uh, uh, checkboxes, I'm selecting it. And uh, here uh, we have some more settings. Uh, on the result, you can show like how many search results uh, came uh, for the particular keyword. So that options can be selected in the settings. And also uh, we have uh, some more uh, options like by default uh, in the search API and the facets, when you are enabling, uh, it will give you the result, but with the term ID. If you are adding any taxonomy terms, it will give you the term ID in the left. So I don't want to use a TID. Uh, I want to place a name for that. So you can select that transform entity ID into label. And uh, here also we have some options like either I want to have or op operator uh, in between the uh, phasor items uh, or uh, I can have and option. Uh, and if I don't have any phasors available, then I can just uh, mark it as a display as a text. Uh, and this is one more option, uh, the sorting of uh, phasors. Like uh, when we are going to the phone finder page, uh, when, when I'm having some results, in the left hand side, we can see um, many options, but it can be having like, the sorting order can be different. It can be either based on the search results what we had, or it can be based on the count, number of count, uh, where, uh, uh, how many results uh, came from the index, uh, solar index, and uh, also the display value. So these are all multiple options. I'm just removing the active state, uh, else, uh, yep, I will, I will show you that first. Oh, it's appearing. It's not coming here. I, uh, whenever you are uh, creating a phasor, it will not appear directly on the page where you want. So you have to create a block out of it. So I'm just going to block layout and uh, finding a phasor uh, block. Uh, 
uh, by default i'm not uh, selecting any other options you can uh, leave it open or i can say like i want this uh, brand facer to be available only on the phone finder page There we go. Uh, so this is how it's appear. Uh, it's appearing. Uh, the phases. Uh, there, are, there is some CS issue. Um, we can correct it later. Or definitely, we are not going to use this theme in the production. So similarly, we can build uh, all other uh, phases. Uh, now I will show you on uh, the price uh, phase, which is a little bit different. Uh, it's having a grouping item so how do you uh, have a phase it uh, if it for a range so that can be uh, shown here for that uh, i'm not creating a phase it actually uh, that's going to be a exposed uh, form uh, exposed uh, uh, form block and also uh, i see that i have uh, all the content uh, including the articles so which i want to uh, filter it out I'll just add the type. Yeah. We'll add the price. Uh, this is the small uh, difference uh, between the normal uh, exposed filter and uh, uh, this particular uh, range filter. So we'll use uh, grouped field filters. I'm just selecting group and uh, providing some values like less than or uh, so these options you can keep it like less than 200 or 200 to 300 any range. And for the uh, for this uh, particular difference or less than or greater than to be up, uh, appearing here in the views, when we are indexing uh, any integers on the uh, solar, it should be decimal. So we should be very careful with that. It, it cannot be a string there. Again, it will appear on the top of the view, so we'll move it to block. So we we can uh, use this expose form in uh, block option to S, so that it will it will be uh, available as a block. Just uh, placing the block on the sidebar. So we have this uh, price range filters on the left side. Uh, similarly, we can uh, build for uh, operating, operating system or any other uh, features also can be placed. Uh, before uh, jumping on to the next slide, uh, I just want to uh, hear from you, like, have you faced any problem when you are setting up the solar and indexing or have you not faced any problem at all when you are uh, indexing and solar uh, configuring this solar so yeah In, in Drupal 8, you are adding the fields, 
so you you will make sure that uh, you whatever the fields you want to get to index it will be you are adding it yeah so i will uh, i will let uh, tanay take the stage so uh, essentially what we did so far is uh, we built a view and uh, just like to show this uh, search results and and we add uh, some facets uh, i i mean i understand this could have been i think this was a very fast pace uh, that could have been slower uh, i think we um, sort of messed up a bit there sorry about that but i want to share this video of site building and uh, its original speed uh, i'll be sharing the link at the end and uh, one thing we definitely wanted to discuss was like when you try out search api module and when you install all this uh, uh, search api solar and facets module most of the recent versions don't work with each other out of the box so as they have been evolving uh, what has been happening is we uh, one version of the module works with another version of the module but when a new uh, version comes out for search api it might not really work with the existing version of search api uh, solar module so uh, this is a version of modules which we found to be working when we started present uh, preparing for this so we used uh, 8.3.1 and uh, search api rc2 and search api solar beta 2 and uh, facets uh, uh, alpha 9 although search api was actually like a day before yesterday they rolled out the first 1.0 version which i believe will be more stable uh, than than the earlier one and uh, so when you pick the modules like uh, watch out for uh, the known versions of modules and uh, and there are very high chances at least until the next few months that you would uh, stumble into versions of modules that don't really work with each other and uh, uh, there are also a large number of modules in this uh, search api ecosystem which add a lot of functionality for example this uh, search api attachments module uh, allows you to index the content of the pdfs uh, or any other uh, documents that are attached to uh, your content for example if i had a specifications document which i attached to my uh, phone uh, finder uh, phone content type i could actually be able to search for the words that are present in the content of that attached pdf and which makes uh, search api and uh, solar search even more powerful and also you might have noticed that to build that price filter we used an exposed uh, filter to build that grouped filter when we when we build the price facet which could all, uh, there are also some additional modules some of, some of which are part of the search api pack itself and some of them are available uh, as contrib modules uh, separate contrib modules which provide uh, more options uh, for uh, for the ui for your facets like sliders and uh, date range selectors etc so search api is a big ecosystem and it has a large number of modules around it uh, and whenever like uh, you, need, you need something very specific and very uh, customized like do uh, like check out if there are any modules available that make it uh, available out of the box and also uh, auto complete multilingual and spell check aren't really working at this point of time with the versions of uh, uh, search api that we used although i think uh, I, I believe it might have improved uh, with the latest rollout uh, but again like uh, uh, and these i think should be far more uh, stable uh, in a few months and uh, yeah we'll be closing uh, about there uh, wanted to showcase one small work we did a few months ago uh, this was more on uh, uh, d7 so it was more about module development than uh, site building uh, there's a module available on d.0 which uh, uh, provides this language fallback capability so when you had a multilingual site and when you search for uh, uh, something and if you wanted uh, the search to happen on the current language of the user and if uh, a result is not found but uh, it's available on a different uh, language content uh, you would actually show uh, the current language result first and then uh, show the default language only if uh, there is nothing in the current language so this is a simple module uh, you could try that out although it's on uh, it works with d7 not d8 and also apache solar module not with search api and uh, uh, the videos that i showed you 
they are available over here. You could uh, uh, bit.ly slash beyond solar, B E Y O N D S O L R. Four videos over there. And let me make that larger. I am not able to edit that. So B E Y O N D S O L R bit.ly slash. You could check out the videos and uh, uh, probably like at, at a better pace. Uh, and any specific questions? This may be more of a solar thing, but in, in setting up uh, searches that operate really well over multiple terms, I found that the uh, OR choice gives way too broad of a set of results. The AND choice gives way too narrow a set of results. Is there something that's smart, kind of like Google search, that's sort of in between where it, it gets as many as it can, but it, it you know? I think uh, the best way to optimize that would be uh, through the uh, weights that you give to various fields. And uh, although I think that's not totally related to AND or OR, mm -hmm. uh, but it's, yeah, I've think, tried uh, doing it with a solar parameter. Yeah, I, I agree. It's, it's MM, not very... Uh, MM like, parameter setting it equal to 2, but that that sort of helps. But it's... Yeah. Doesn't, I was hoping there was something in, <laughs> that would really help that situation. I, I don't think uh, there's anything that exists right now that uh, sort of like is as smart as Google, at least for solar on the contour space. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thanks for coming. And uh, have a great camp.